वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इसमें आशिफ के पी वेलकम टू लेनिंग रेडियस वेलकम टू लेनिंग रेडियस एच ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन से In this Lenin Radius Edge 2021 session, we'll have a close look over UPSC preliminary question papers. We'll have a thorough analysis of we'll have a thorough analysis of UPSC 2017, 2018, 2019 questions with special emphasis. Once again, with special emphasis to 2020. There's a series of videos. I request all the aspirants. To hear that series of analysis of national, international, economic and social development, environment, ecology, science and technology, geography, minimum two three times to have absolute clarity and to incorporate what the nature and character of UPSC questions, what the nature and character of UPSC preliminary questions. Today in this session, we'll have a discussion on environment ecology. What's the character of environment ecology? You all know, environment ecology is the heart and soul of UPSC preliminary question paper. Without having an edge in environment ecology, it's not easy. It's not easy to qualify UPSC preliminary examination. You should have a thorough understanding what's the standard of environment ecology questions. I always tell one word, that is. Survey, analyze, study, and revise. Study and analyze, survey and analyze the previous year's question papers, the previous year's questions, nature and character. In UPSC preliminary examination, survey and analyze is very very decisive in environment ecology because it is not a subject, it is not a conventional area, it's foreign to all. You have to study the nature and character through survey and analyze the previous year's questions. In this video, I'll be doing a thorough check of the last year's environment ecology. At the same time, I appreciate the work of Learning Radius. Learning Radius is doing a wonderful job. Now, this trending throughout India, in the UPSC circle, nationally and outside too. Now, students are looking into the activities of. Learning radius students are into the activities of learning radius in a very profound manner because of their crystal clarity in UPSC examination. So, in this particular discussion, I'll be into survey and analyze of environment ecology, then study and revise with that clarity. Understanding the nature and character of UPSC question will help you to study current affairs with utmost clarity. My dear students, be positive. When we look into environment ecology, you may feel that the topics are not that familiar. But be positive and explore yourself. Why? Because change begins at the end of your comfort zone. You have to break your comfort zone, especially when you study environment ecology. You have to break your comfort zones. You have to get classes from the right mentor at the right time, in the right wavelength to get into your peers. Change begins at the end of your comfort zone. So when it comes to environment ecology, you are your mind. Spruce up your mind with high aim and positive thoughts. Spruce up your mind with high aim and positive thought because when we get into this analysis, in the starting you may feel that topics are not that familiar, but in our future classes in current affairs session, which is going to start in the next month, July 12th, 2021, we'll have a thorough look over the current of environment ecology too. So let's have a discussion on environment ecology. Last year, the questions of environment ecology and geography are highly intertwined for the first time. I can tell as a geography faculty, it's all geography, but an environment faculty, me too, I handle environment. So I can tell it is intertwined, but most of the time we'll tell it's environment. Okay, it's environment. And I can prove that with that, we'll be concluding our session today. Which what is, what I'm going to prove is 
it is intertwined that is ecology and geography questions are intertwined around 16 plus 8 24 questions right from geography and environment but there's a difference in 2020 and the difference is exclusive ecology questions they reduced in 2017 18 and 19 you can see it was around 20 and in one year it came to 30 questions from environment ecology i can show that so if you look into 2017 18 19 you can understand one thing without environment ecology clear current affair understanding we can't about that solving the question paper i always tell to my students i'll tell my colleagues also tell the students to solve question paper and study if you listen to any faculty you will the faculties will give clear idea how to get the area but to solve a particular question paper solving practicing the question paper is important yesterday i insisted to one uh, candidate because very brilliant per day one question paper then she told okay fine 6:30 onwards you have to start and by 9:30 you have to complete the work i told 9:30 means 3 hours for the entire work so back to environment ecology In 2017, there was 21 topics from which UPSC asked the question. It was from Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, trade-related analysis of fauna and flora and commerce, that is traffic, advantages of bioremediation technique, Chandipur seashore, fall in the population of species of butterflies, algae-based biofuel, carbon sequestration, river tiger, Zika virus, Wildlife Protection Act 1972, animals cannot be hunted. always keep an eye on wildlife protection act 1972 in every year upsc repeat the same but in different fashion global climate change alliance himalayas western ghat and pulikat lake biological oxygen demand un habitat climate and clean air coalition indian ocean dipole gharials water conservation in agriculture m strips schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 once again schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 don't forget Kunapalpur Wildlife Sanctuary because it is having relation with uh, 2020. Kunapalpur Wildlife Sanctuary. So when you look into 2017, you can see it is all about the conventional areas. At the same time, much related with ecology, environment, wildlife sanctuaries, and the current affairs of that particular time. But questions are not that easy of 2017, 18, and all. So Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, traffic, bioremediation, Chandipur seashore, butterflies. algae based biofuel carbon sequestration river tiger sika virus wildlife protection act 1972 global climate change alliance himalayas western ghat pulikat lake biological oxygen demand un habitat ccac climate and clean air coalition indian ocean dipole gharials water conservation in agriculture and strips schedule one of the wildlife protection act 1972 kunapalpur wildlife sanctuaries in all this the technique has to be studied that is very important in future in 12th classes we'll be discussing that to elimination the most prominent discussion that is elimination technique has to be studied with the questions questions of upsc itself that we'll do it later then uh, when it comes to 2018 upsc asked 20 questions 20 don't forget that number genetically modified mustard carbon fertilization leaf modification national green tribunal and gt and central pollution control board immensely dried up location in the recent past due to human activities earth's magnetic field concept of conservation agriculture term six mass extinction sixth extinction artificial lake consequences of heavy sand mining in river beds characteristics of agricultural soil partnership for action on green economy page barren island volcano prosopis duli flora coral reefs momentum for change climate neutral now pack your wildlife sanctuary habitat rights bird spread plant diseases global alliance for climate smart agriculture in 2019 there were 30 topics from environment ecology so people research done research over environment ecology in 2020 upsc asked around 24 question but they clubbed and intertwined geography and environment ecology exclusive environment ecology questions were less the 30 topics in 2019 were related to national parks lies completely in temperate alpine zone asiatic lion double hump camel and one horn rhinoceros famous place and river located 
serous cloud thinning technique and the injection of sulfate aerosol into stratosphere pyrolysis and plasma gasification fourth and fifth can be discussed as um, science and technology but since it is much related with environment i included in that of the similar biosphere reserve herbivores and viviparous species wildlife and its natural location micro beads himalayan nettle that is what called the giardinia diversifolia satellite images or remote sensing data used for estimation percentage of forest cover to the total area of state deposits of methane hydrate gases released into atmosphere due to the burning crop biomass residue sea and bordering country glacier and related rivers use of carbon furan methyl parathion forite and triasophos wetland conservation and management rules 2010 and ramsar convention release of nitrogen oxides and ammonia into environment water reservoirs at different locations use of hydrogen enriched cng recent amendment to the indian forest act indian patent act environment protection act 1986 solid waste management rules 2016 plants domesticated in the new world and introduced in the old world nature of karif crops cultivated in india in the last 5 years compensatory afforestation fund act 2016 world denisovan the e waste management handling rules 2011 and extended producer responsibility so i'm not getting into all this topics question that we'll do in our current affair discussions it starts from july 12 and don't worry i'll be looking into all the i'll be, be discussing each and question by taking one to two minutes just to get that elimination idea and to to have a broad perspective we require two to two and a half hours on one area 2017 18 and 19 we can complete within a span of one and a half to two hours that we'll do it don't worry let's come to 2020 exclusive eight topics they asked the first question was related to schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act 1972 second question was related to social cost of carbon third question was related to indian elephant and its characteristics in the total 100 questions if you are asking which is my favorite question which accept the capacity of or which shows the capacity of um, upsc union public service commission of india i tell indian elephant and its characteristics why because a discussion happened a current affair happened and that was there throughout the newspaper but they framed a question much away from the current affair but a beautiful frame third one fourth one protected area located in kaveri basin fifth one silon frogmouth copper smith barbet great chin minivet and white throated red start sixth one indian swam deer seventh one musk deer eighth one carbon footprint the sixth question indian swam deer is very interesting i'll show that let's come to 2020 questions once again don't worry when i skip the slides it's our area itself but we'll do it later today h2021 the assigned work to me from learning radius academic team is analyzing the 2020 question paper in detail so i'm very closely to that only right now so schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act 1972 if a particular plant species is placed under schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act 1972 what is the implication and we know a license is required to cultivate that plant and from where i told wildlife protection act 1972 you have to keep it in your mind schedule 1 upsc asked they moved to schedule 6 and from where that question as it came it was there was an article in down to earth enact a special act for protecting india's natural pharmacy and regarding this one there was connecting articles in the rest magazines in connection with uh, protecting india's natural pharmacy the country's medicinal plant which are used in a number of alternative system of medicine are in danger of becoming extinct due to ignorance and over exploitation and in that total discussion you can see last paragraphs and all schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act 1972 covers only vitamin c cat blue vanda kut lady slipper orchids the pitcher plant and the red vanda so they are telling about schedule 6 in that uh, article of down to earth 27th may 2019 enact a special act for protecting india's natural pharmacy 
and very recently after the exam you can see another article sorry another discussion from the side of central government pal plea update restructure wildlife protection act that you might be very well known about so while 133 species of plant have been named as threatened in study report schedule 6 of the wildlife protection act is continuing so that is recently in 2021 after the exam still wildlife protection act schedule 6 is in discussion so next one is which one of the following statement best describe the term social cost of carbon social cost of carbon we know long term damage done by a ton of carbon dioxide emission in a given year so social cost of carbon was there in discussion but it was a very close discussion in news in articles and in magazines there was an article related to social cost of carbon in down to earth and uh, the article itself name is social cost of carbon emission or social cost of carbon dioxide emission and they have given what is social cost of carbon dioxide emission other than that social cost of carbon dioxide or social cost of carbon emission was not there throughout the newspaper it was there in magazine especially in down to earth i hope you are related this to third one this is a question with reference to the indian elephant consider the following statement leader of an elephant group is a female maximum gestation period can be 22 an elephant can normally go on calving till the age of 40 years among the state in india the highest population is in kerala there are four statement why they frame the question they frame the question because this was article marginal decline see in kerala's wildlife wild elephant population and according to that discussion nationally kerala became second and karnataka became first in the total population the indian express 5th august 2019 this was the picture and this was the news so marginal decline in wild elephant and though the 2018 tiger census brought chills to kerala with the number of big cats touching 190 against 136 recorded in the previous survey the state has witnessed a marginal drop in its wild elephant population latest survey figures that there are around 5706 wild elephant against 6177 jumbos recorded in the 2012 census so they convey that it is reducing and it is not kerala now it is karnataka so if you know that four is wrong then you can come to the answer at the same time a gestation on normally elephant go for calving till 50 so statement 1 and 2 is right so related to elephant upsc framed a question and just check the nature and character actually what happened the what happened is the number of elephants in kerala decreased and now in number karnataka is leading but upsc framed a question related to elephant who is the leader of a group what is the gestation period normally at what age till what age it go for calving and the fourth one is related to that current four statement three are related to the fundamentals of that current affairs which is much away from the normal current affair and fourth one is related to the current affair so this capacity to relate that matters a lot and the uh, next question which of the following protected area in located in kaveri basin it is 41234 and 13 uh, and 4 is right that is a uh, nagarhol national park papikonda national park satyamangalam tiger reserve wildlife 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 sanctuary and papikonda national park is not there answer is 13 and 4 there were discussions of kaveri basins in august and july july august and september in newspaper major reservoirs in kaveri basin nearing full capacity and this was the throughout nationally this was the discussion the reservoirs of kaveri the kaveri basins were there in discussion but kaveri basins were there in discussion none of this agarhol national park papikonda satyamangalam tiger reserve wild night wildlife sanctuary it is a duty of an aspirant to understand kaveri basin is in discussion so i should have an idea what all are the characteristic feature of kaveri basin obviously as a related discussion you should have an understanding of what is the major or what all are the major national park wildlife sanctuary over kaveri basin and there was a protest those from tamil nadu maybe telling so kaveri basin were there in discussion because protected special agriculture zone in tamil nadu kaveri delta 
experts seek powers to implementing authority there was a protest on um, march 1st in the newspaper on 1st march 2020 there was a discussion so kaveri basin were there in discussion think how they related that kaveri basin discussion to a question now with reference to india's biodiversity ceylon frogmouth copperhead barbet great chin minivet and white trotter red start are birds primates reptiles and amphibians there are four they are directly asking out of if you have an idea which category this particular species are coming that is ceylon frogmouth coppersmith barbet great chin minivet and white trotter red start almost all these species came in newspaper or in magazines in 2019 20 you may be able to recollect in our back backyard environment in hindu newspaper there was a picture bright colors and loud noises the coppersmith barbet is a treat to watch hindu but the only thing you should understand is all these four species are birds so what you have to recollect you have to recollect that image you have to recollect this image of 5th march 2020 or you have to recollect this image so in different days in march april and all in magazines and newspaper all the species came you have to recollect that name coppersmith barbet or here it is red start that clarity should be there in your mind and there was a beautiful article on 24th december 2019 about uh, almost all the species all birds new birds new birds coimbatore mohammed salim and team spot some rare birds on their great indian bird expedition across south india there was an article on 24th december 2019 in that names of birds are discussed in detail next question which one of the following protected areas well known to the conservation of a sub species of indian swam deer bara singa that thrives well on hard ground and is exclusively gramnivorous that is it walk it grasses now the answer is kanna national park kanna national park was there in discussion on 16 june exclusively kanna national park this was the figure and kanna national park was in discussion not because of all this kanna national park was there in discussion related to covid 19 it was closed now it is open now tourists are coming small number like that there was a discussion and they showed the same swamp deer bara singa's picture in the newspaper so this was the picture bara singa or the swamp deer in the wild at kanna national park they created a question right from bara singa and kanna national park answer is kanna national park question is related to bara singa if you look the picture very closely you can see that what upsc asked were this deer is present what is the answer kanna if you look the picture you can see both and why this picture came it came because of the covid 19 the kanna national park was closed kanna national park reopens for tourists on 16 june 2020 now look back to the question which one of the following protected area is well known for the conservation of such species of the indian swamp deer indian swamp deer were there in the in their india's newspaper related to the opening of kanna national park or if you read kanna national park as a discussion related to covid rand in reopening you will relate next is which of the following are the most likely places to find musk deer in its natural habitat musk deer were not there in the discussion in 2019 and 20 were not there in the discussion means it is not there in the limelight but ascot wildlife sanctuary was there in discussion so answer is 1 and 2 so unusual movement of moths and butterflies causing a flutter the hindu second october 2019 scientists worry that climate change is prompting a habitat change in himalayas and there was discussion reverted to ascot wildlife sanctuary in uttarakhand ascot wildlife sanctuary is in discussion related to the climate issues at the same time the issues of biodiversity and upsc asked a question related to ascot but ascot was there in the options and the same time gang author it and the final question is related to environment at the same time it is related to science and technology in rural road construction the use of which of the following is preferred for ensuring environment sustainability or to reduce carbon footprint copper slag coal mix asphalt technology geo textiles hot mix asphalt technology portland cement out of this 1 2 and 3 is right 
India cement transport flyage by rail to its Vish, uh, Vishnupuram plan. There was discussion, and it is into science and technology too. So carbon footprint. It is answer is one, two, and three. So once again, uh, when you look back to the environment ecology, you can understand that how beautifully they frame the question, and you should have the capacity to relate in that particular manner. How Schedule Six of Wildlife Protection Act came, I explained with the article of Enact a Special Act for Protecting India's Natural Farm, Natural Pharmacy. Then, uh, social cost of carbon. It is related to down to earth discussion. Elephant. I told it is related to the New Indian Express discussion. Then I told Kaveri Basin. It is related to the major reservoirs in Kaveri Basin nearing full capacity, and related to the species, your understanding and familiarity, and related to the Barasinga and Kanna National Park. I explained, and related to musk deer. It is more into escort deer. And the final one is related to carbon footprint. It is more to science and technology. The one, two, and three. As such, and there was a discussion related to transport fly ash. My dear aspirants, we looked what is environment ecology, and we understood one thing: the number of questions UPSC asked, right from environment ecology. In 2019, it is around 25 plus. It is coming close to 30. When you include the geography question too, most of the time geography questions and environment ecology questions are intertwined. It's not that easy to take out. This is environment. This is ecology. That happens more in 2020. We analyzed. In 2017, they asked around 21 questions. In 2018, they asked around 20 questions. In 2019, they asked around 30 questions. In 2020, they asked exclusive environment ecology around eight questions and another 16 from right from geography related. So it's intertwined around 24 questions again. So understanding environment ecology and studying with that understanding is very decisive to qualify the exam. My dear aspirants, you are your belief. Keep faith and trust your journey and aim high. That's very, very important.